What's up guys, this is a Survivor Series 2013 pay-per-view predictions video. Um, just a general thought starting out that this pay-per-view will probably be very, very bad. I don't know if it will be as bad as Battleground, but it will probably be the worst Big Four pay-per-view in years. I mean, really, this, this card is just terrible. One or two good matches at the most. But, um, let's just get through this. Um, on the pre-show, you got Miz versus Kofi Kingston. Miz recently had that heel turn on Monday Night Raw. Um, that's why I believe he will win in a throwaway kickoff match. Just like he's been in all year long, WrestleMania. I think there's a streak of like three or four pay-per-views where he was just on the pre-show. So, yeah. Miz will finally win one on the pre-show. I don't know if he won one before, but he'll get this one. Um, then we start out the real pay-per-view with a real boring match. Um, I don't know if this will be the opener. I hope not. But it's Curtis Axel versus Big E Langston. Curtis Axel's terrible. Well, he's not terrible, but he's boring at times. He's just an average wrestler. Nothing stands out about him. Especially now that he doesn't have Heyman with him. And then Big E Langston's just a star on the rise, I'm guessing. Like, that's how I would describe him right now. Um, uh, three ain't enough, he needs five. So, hopefully he goes for the five count here when he wins this match. Because Curtis Axel sucks. But, we go from that match to maybe e even shittier match right here. The 7-on-7 seven seven Divas match with the Total Divas versus everyone else. Except Layla for some reason. I really want to know why she isn't in there. Um, she can actually wrestle on like pretty much the whole Divas roster. Except two people can wrestle. So um, I'm guessing Total Divas will win because they'll probably film it for their show and stuff. They don't want to show them losing or anything. But let's get to a, an actual real match. Cody Rhodes, Goldust, Usos, and Rey Mysterio versus The Shield and The Real Americans in the traditional Survivor Series 5-on-5 five five match. It'll probably be okay. Uh, might be good. Um, we'll see what happens there. Um, I know Ray won't work much. He's still coming off uh, that knee injury. Uh, he's not 100% yet. I th I heard at like uh, the SmackDown tapings that he didn't work much of the three on three match, so probably won't work much on Sunday. He might get the finish, but he won't do much during the match. And yeah, right there, I feel like Team Rhodes will win it. Uh, just because uh, they've gotten the upper hand on the Shield in the past weeks. Well, not really past weeks, but I mean like when they beat, when they had Big Show help them beat, uh, beat them for their titles. That's what kind of made me decide who's going to win this one. I feel like they'll get the upper hand here. So, enough with that match. Now we've got probably the match of the night right here with Punk and Daniel Bryan versus Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. Um, we obviously got Punk and Bryan who are great workers. Then you got Luke Harper, who is very underrated in my opinion. Um, will definitely be match of, the, match of the night, like I said, to the most. I'm looking forward to this the most. Um, I think Rowan and Harper will win, but it won't be clean at all. Some with Bray Wyatt or something something will come up that it won't be clean at all. I feel like this will go on for a little longer, and then eventually the shield will into the storyline then that might set up uh, Shield vs. Wyatt's at Wrestlemania or another pay-per-view but I might be dreaming there could happen I don't know but um, yeah match of the night right there I'm guessing um, now we got Cena vs. Del Rio um, I'm guessing Cena will win like usual then Alberto Dorito as uh, Freight Train says will probably go back to the mid card or at least I'm hoping uh, he needs to revamp his character nobody cares about his character anymore especially with the face and heel turns nobody gives a shat anymore so yeah Cena wins he 
he retains. And then, final match of the night. Big Show versus Randy Orton. Nobody's excited for this match. Nobody gives a damn about Big Show anymore. Um, he's a terrible actor. Orton will win. This is a match of no buys. A main event of no buys. I really hope Punk and Bryan versus Rowan and Harper close the show. But, that probably won't happen. But, we'll see if uh, the Authority get involved, which I'm guessing. And, Orton will probably win. Because, Orton will win. <laughs> I don't feel like they'd give it to Big Show. Well, I actually... WWE books stupid stuff like that. They'll probably give it to Show this pay-per-view and probably uh, have Orton win it back at TLC or something. But I'll stick with my guts and go with Orton. So, Orton wins the main event. In conclusion, um, this show might be better than Battleground, but it's going to be... A lot worse than all of the big four pay-per-views in the past few years. I can't remember as one this uh, big four pay-per-view as bad as this looks. I mean, there's one or two good matches. How, how would you how how would you make a big four show this like throwaway? I don't just see why you put Show vs. Orton in the main event. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely not buying this pay-per-view. I'll probably stream it, even though I probably shouldn't say that. But, um, yeah, more videos to come. Uh, see you guys later.